Welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Now let's go back uh, in history to apparently the year I was born. And a couple of months after my birth, there was a coup uh, in Nigeria. It was, of course, orchestrated by uh, former military administrator Ibrahim Babangida on this day in 1985, the 27th of August. Uh, two years earlier, there was an initial coup in 1983 where our well, current president, Muhammadu Buhari, had overthrown the Shehu Shagari government. But on this day... Babangida you know, carried out his own coup, accusing the current administration of what he termed Buharism and, uh, you know, of course, corruption and failure to you know, fix Nigeria's economic woes at that time. It's pretty much you know, the same explanation for almost all the coups in the world. Uh, but he had you know, blamed, you know, President, well, blamed uh, Muhammadu Buhari back then of failing to fix Nigeria's economic woes and, of course, also running a you know, low, slightly corrupt government and uh, imposing what he uh, termed Buharism in 1985. Uh, he then, of course, replaced the Supreme Military Council with what was called the Armed Forces Ruling Council. Uh, Ibrahim Babangida had stayed in power until 1993, where, of course, there was then new drama in Nigeria with the annulled election and MKO Abiola and some of all of that. But that's, you know, a totally different conversation that happened much, much later. Um, but, of course, it was on this day that the 1985 coup took place in Nigeria. Uh, Muhammad Buhari was then arrested in 1995 and sent to prison in Benin City until 1988 when he was released. But I'll also quickly mention that in 1990, um, during Ibrahim Babangida's uh, time in power, there was an attempted coup by Major Gideon Oka. It was a failed coup that um, of course, well, he, he was able to escape, well, you know, where, uh, when, you know, the coup was, um, you know, when it started. Um, Gideon Oka was then arrested along with his uh, co-conspirators and executed by firing squad in 1990, that same year. Um, it was basically a lot of drama between 1983 and 1993. Um, it was, you know, basically a, a time in Nigeria's political history that would forever uh, be relevant in, in our history. But on this day, Ibrahim Babangida overthrew the Muhammad Buhari government and, um, you know, took over power um, for the next uh, eight years. Mm. 85 to 93, yes, eight years. Wow. And almost 50 years later... President Buhari is yeah, president. you know, and then people also mention, you know, that some of the drama that ensued after, you know, in this period, you know, are, um, oh, well, no need to go in that, that direction. But, you know, some of the things that happened on this day are very relevant um, with what is currently happening in Nigeria today and what has happened since 2015 um, um, concerning Muhammad Buhari. Let me now go to the year 1955. On this day in history, the 27th of August, and on this day in history, the Guinness Book of Records debuts. Yeah. So, so just, before, just before we get into the um, uh, Guinness Book of Records uh, chaos, um, I, I would also just quickly throw in, you know, the fact that um, I hope, you know, and I completely hope that we have completely, we've, you know, fully and 100% moved away from the era of coups. Uh, it has happened in a few African countries, even in, you know, in... Uh, I can't remember where now, not, not very, um, um, uh, Chad, yes, you know, not uh, long ago. Um, but I'm hoping that we've com completely moved away from that era and we are in a totally different space uh, currently. Um, something else that I would throw in is that some of the people who uh, will be mentioned, some of the names that would be mentioned that will always be relevant with regards to Nigeria's um, political drama, you know, the ups and downs, the coups, the overthrow of governments, um, and some of all of that are still very much alive today and still have a say, you know, with regards to Nigeria's uh, journey. But anyway, just to quickly throw that in, uh, Ibrahim Babangida was interviewed a few weeks ago, if you remember, and he also, you know, made some statements concerning his time then and where he is today. All right, going now to the year 1955, on this day in history, August the 27th, the Guinness Book of World Records debuts. And it was a very interesting um, time leading up until um, this day in history. The Guinness Book of World Records, first of all, has sold over 143 million copies. It's spread to 100 different countries and is published in at least 22 different languages. Um, the inspiration behind the Guinness Book of World Records um, can be traced back to Sir Hubiba, who went on a hunting trip with his friends in November 1951. Now, he tried to shoot at a bird called the Golden Plover, but he missed it. 
Now, after repeatedly trying to shoot at that bird and missing it, you know, he and his friends began to debate whether that bird, the golden plover, was the fastest hunting bird in Europe. Now, when they continued that debate, they began to delve into the credibility of, you know, the facts in various books regarding the fastest birds in the world. And, you know, after they couldn't, they couldn't decide on that, they decided to go on and publish a record book for a British pub to resolve all the objections um, regarding which bird was the fastest in the world. Now, at that time, this particular guy, Beaver, was the managing director of Guinness Brewery, Brewery founded in Dublin in 1759, and the book was to be distributed free of charge in a pub aimed at promoting the brewery, uh, but the book became so popular, they decided to begin to sell it, and before long, the book became a bestseller. After that 1955 debut, the book was also... Um, the book also debuted in the U.S. in 1956, and since then there had been no turning back. The book had been published multiple times, and uh, it's uh, one of the most successful brands in the world. The book is loved by people all over, and um, yes, talking about if the Golden Plover is the fastest bird in the world, it was confirmed to be the fastest bird in the world. So on this day in history, um, August 27th, 1955, um, the Guinness Book of World Record um, debuted in that brewery. Okay. Um, you know, I'm, 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 what I've picked up from here is, you know, just really, really great marketing uh, for that brand. Um, and then also, you, if you remember not long ago, there was a particular uh, beverage um, um, uh, soda brand, rather, that had very, very brilliant marketing put in the names of people on bottles, uh, which, mm -hmm. which was phenomenal marketing. Um, but at the same time, I, also, I would say that the Guinness Book of Records was something that I grew up with in the 90s. Um, it was something that was part of almost every household. If you go to a person's house and they have, it was a, it's a big book. Mm -hmm. They have, uh, you know, the hard copy, well, the, what was on the hard copy back then, um, Guinness Book of Records. It was something fascinating that everybody tried to read. You read about the most interesting records. The longest news in the world. <laughs> the most interesting type of records you know that you could ever imagine and it was always uh, you know, placed in different different segments you know there was the one for health there was the one for food there's the one for aviation there's the one for um you know television some of all of that it was just a very very fascinating book and you can read it and not stop turning the pages until you finish it was so interesting I, um nigerians have also tried to get on that record i remember dj ob uh, a few years ago, tried to you know uh, create his own Guinness Book of Records by uh, being uh, by DJing for about three days or four days or the longest DJ set. I remember um, not a few years ago actually in 2015 or 2016, uh, sometime around then. They just have ignored my own record for fastest sweetest poker? bachelor in Lagos. <laughs> They'll get to that. <laughs> That's it on today in history. Let's take a break here and uh, we'll return for our first big conversation after the break. <laughs> 